South Florence, please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the moment of silence. Good morning, South Florence. I'm Amelia Sprawls. And I'm Hamilton Sprawls. FCA will be selling hot chocolate and honey buns at the cafeteria Monday through Thursday this week. Please stop by and enjoy some tasty refreshments. For any student applying for the Governor's School, they've extended the Governor's School application deadline until February 17th. Please make sure you have all of your package completed and sent in by that date. If you have any questions, please contact the school counselor, Mrs. Ray. Miss Galls and Miss Oakley are selling baked goods out of their classrooms for $1 all of this week to help the junior class raise money for graduation funds. Stop by to support your junior class and pick up some yummy treats. Seniors, make sure you buy an ad for this year's yearbook. Prices are lower than ever. Order forms are located outside of room 119. The last day to purchase an ad and turn in materials is February 7th. If you have any questions about senior ads, see Miss Wall in room 119. The Scassel's deadline for any student submitting a book trailer is February 14th. If you need information on this competition, contact Miss Gaston in the library. Cheer is hosting a winter cheer clinic on February 29th. This is for 4K through 11th grade. This is the perfect opportunity to learn skills and get some awesome tips about cheer. Please see a cheerleader, Coach Cooper or Coach Gordon, for a forum starting Tuesday, January 28th. All young men of South Florence, stop! Do you know where all of the exits are in your classroom? In a store? In your house? Would you know if someone was following you? Do you know how to avoid a dangerous situation or react when it happens? If you want to learn to think like a police officer, soldier, firefighter, spy, or bodyguard, come out to the cave this Friday to learn situational awareness. This skill can not only save your life, but help you be a better student. The South Florence staff would like to send out a reminder to please clean up after yourself after breakfast and lunch. These, there are ample trash cans around the commons area. Please be respectful and dispose of your waste and trays. SGA is holding a blanket drive for those in need. 
so please turn in new or used but clean blankets to Miss Collins in room 108. Barrett Klinkenek will be speaking to FCA on Friday, January 31st. Barrett is a West Florence standout in baseball who was drafted by the Braves from FMU. He currently coaches a division of the Braves baseball. Come out to Mobileton to hear Barrett and enjoy a breakfast snack with, with us. Attention teachers, Sam's Club will be here on Wednesday, January 29th from 9 to 11 and from 1 to 2.30 for their membership drive. They will be in the mail room, so please stop by if you are interested in joining. Congratulations to our new Miss South Florence 2020, Constance Mixon. The National English Honor Society is hosting a book drive from February 3rd to February 14th. We will be accepting gently used books and magazines for any age level. Boxes will be located in the following rooms. Mr. Figueres, Mrs. Rosa, Mrs. Finkley, Mrs. Franco, and the library. The new metal detectors have arrived. Your Chromebooks cannot go through the metal detectors and they will be passed as book bags were before. Please place a name card, photo, or note with your name on it underneath the clear case of your Chromebook to be able to identify yours and quickly grab it at the metal detectors. National English Honor Society applications for next school year 2020 to 2021 are now available online on the South Florence webpage under student activities under the National English Honor Society link. Applications for next year are due by April 24, 2020 to Mrs. Franco, Mrs. Helton, or Mrs. Finkley. Please see any of these sponsors if you have any questions. Studio B will meet this Friday in the new studio until 4.30 p.m. Good morning, South Florence. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a high of 45 and a low of 26. Tomorrow's weather will also be partly cloudy with a high of 43 and a low of 29. Thank you for watching today's weather. that's called this under the big umbrella of agriculture. Um, in this class we learn plant maintenance and care, uh, how to uh, save seeds and store seeds and use seeds for our, our future uh, reference. One of our goals here at the Career Center is to uh, fill the greenhouses from August until April 1st and then from April 1st until the end of May we try to empty all the greenhouses and then start over again in August. Uh, we uh, have uh, plant identification uh, on many, many levels. Um, we have greenhouse structures, uh, NID. We have um, career opportunities that are offered in horticulture. We have internships that are offered for our students 
and our internships, um, some of the businesses in the area that have worked with us, uh, Forest Lake Nursery has provided internships, uh, Morris Botanical Gardens has provided internships, which have, have also led to uh, uh, jobs for the students. We have uh, a bit of landscape and design um, structure. Uh, we have what's called schoolscapes here on campus, and we try to uh, design and uh, landscape uh, different sections of our school. Plants are a passion of mine. I've been, I've been uh, involved in the plant industry uh, all of my life. Um, it's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful field to go in. Uh, it's very relaxing. Uh, all the students love coming in the greenhouse when it's 20 degrees outside. It's 85 in here. They like planting the seeds and watching watching the seeds uh, grow to become what you see here. Most of these plants in the greenhouse have been started by seeds. I would like to encourage more students to participate. I think uh, I think once they uh, got their feet wet, so to speak, in the horticulture world, they, they would understand too. There's more to horticulture than just planting seeds and watching plants grow. It's a huge industry. And, Agriculture is the biggest industry that we have here in South Carolina and horticulture is just one, one tiny part of that.